Hey there, it's Molly with Design Loves Detail, and we are talking about a little room makeover that we did in here, as well as sharing a few tips to add some holiday flair to your bedrooms. Stay tuned. So you may or may not recognize this room. It's actually a refresh that we did um, for my son's room to make it more of like a guest space for the holidays. We have a lot of company coming in town. This video is sponsored by our friends over at Canadian Down and Feather. They have amazing duvet inserts. I'm gonna show one to you as well as mattress toppers and other bedding products that are incredible quality. Um, I'm gonna grab this. Here's one of their duvet inserts and they're just very high quality, um, soft and nice and quiet. You know how some of them get crunchy sounding? This is is like such high quality down fill. It's really warm. It's one of the warmest per square inch because it's such high quality down that it can be lightweight, but still very warm, which is what I love because you don't want it to be feeling like, you know, too heavy on you. So their products are just incredible and they have a Black Friday sale right now, which is amazing, um, up to 30% off. And I also have a coupon code that works on top of that. It is sleepwell5, we'll put it on the screen for you, but definitely one to check out if you need down in inserts and, and you want something that's high quality and gonna last you a long time and be the right warmth for what you need as well. Um, so definitely check them out. I will include links for that and you can see it in action here with the duvet cover. So definitely just a really clean, crisp look. I love I love duvet inserts and duvet covers for that reason that they're so versatile. You can, you can always switch out the cover if you wanted something else, but then you have that high quality insert that can last you for a long time. So this room, I wanted to bring a little bit more of an upside scale feel. And I definitely think that upholstered headboards bring that to a space. We had the really pretty leather one, but I didn't feel like it was driving with the light fixture and the lamps that I brought in. These were actually from a recent project that you can see on Instagram that we did with Circa Lighting and uh, actually the Kate Spade collection, which is stunning. You can see the chandelier. It totally changed the look of the space. Uh, and we had been needing another light in here because the one I bought, even though I loved it, it didn't have enough like light output. So this chandelier definitely does a trick. And then these lamps uh, that coordinate so well with it. They are literal art pieces. So that kind of set the scene for changing up the space a little bit. And believe it or not, this is actually, I'm gonna link similar in a headboard, but this is actually a bench cushion. Uh, at the last minute when we were shooting photos of this room, my employee Shandon and I were like, just kind of trying to get the last stuff together. And I was like, oh, I just wish I had an upholstered headboard in here. And he's like, what about like the couch cushion? And then we tried it and it was too big. And then I remembered my bench had this cushion and it's like the perfect perfect size. So I stole it off of my bench. I think changed the look of the space. So it was a cool, you know, improv <laughs> situation. And I'm now I want to find a, you know, an upholstered headboard looks just like it. There are definitely some similar ones. So I'll include those, but kind of a little give you a peek at how it goes. And I'm thinking if I could attach it, find a way to kind of secure it to this headboard, um, it might be actually something that I could use longer term because it has such a great look. And I think that upholstery, um, as well as feeling upscale, it also is very inviting with the fabric and that kind of thing. So that this feels like a very restful space. And then just some classic, you know, I love a Euro pillow. It keeps it, the design really clean. Normally I stack my other pillows behind it. I didn't in this case, but cause I just wanted to keep a really clean look. Borrowed this off of my Serena and Lily um, day bed and bolster pillows are some of my favorite. Cause it's again, just that really minimal tailored clean look. And I wanted to keep with the Kate Spade vibe of the lighting so that we have just that clean tailored aesthetic. Gorgeous sheets here with a little bit of contrast to the white duvet. And then these nightstands are the ones that were in here and they're some of my favorites. They are splurgy, but they're really well made. They're heavy and they come assembled by um, one of my favorite brands. So they're just very, it's bugging me because this one's not perfectly level. There we go. Very solid, really high quality. Definitely an investment piece, but to get the scale and quality, I highly recommend them. I think they're actually in stock too. They're, they're usually sold out, but love them. They're kind of a light gray wash. You can see there's a little bit of contrast with the lighter colors, but they're still pretty subtle. And then of course the lamps, like I mentioned, if you ever want to bring, you know, just a simple holiday touch to any of your bedrooms, just do the garland. It's the easiest holiday ad ever. Garland across the headboard. Um, this is that 12 foot one that I've been using like seriously everywhere. I think they still have it available. Um, I'll link and hopefully so. It definitely looks and feels quite real. And I love that cedar, just kind of like a finer texture to it. But I, uh, and it's so great for these things that are longer stretches. So 
so one to grab as well. Favorite piece of artwork, Home Goods. I found it twice. I found a square one and a rectangular one. So I have high hopes that if you go into Home Goods, you might also score one. Time of the year. I want to say it's spring and fall when they get this like acrylic collection, but it could be any time of year. So give it a shot. Definitely love the neutral texture in that. I'm going to hop over to the other side and actually grab. I also think it's so cute to put gifts. Like if you have company coming into town, it's like so cute to put their gifts on the bed when they arrive because it just, I don't know, it feels like Home Alone or something. Like the whole, you know how I'm obsessed with Home Alone. It just feels like the whole house because they did. It, they designed a house that's all red and green. Look at the wallpaper. Next time you watch Home Alone, look at the whole house, the bedroom, the parents' bedroom. It's like red and green anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever appreciated that, but I sure appreciate that. So the point is, presents on the bed, a cute little add-in. Now we have just this total holiday vibe room. This is one of my favorites. I get asked about this a ton. Um, it is Benjamin Moore China White, like the dishes, like fine China White. It has a grayish undertone instead of looking yellowy. So if you check out my white favorite white paint color video, I go into it more in depth, like why I love this one and places I've used it and some others that you might like as well. Definitely, if you're looking for paint, that's a good video to watch. So brought this bench in. This is one of the ones that I, or I, I actually bought two of them, but you might recognize it from our entryway. Definitely a favorite. I think it's sold out, but I'm watching for it to come back because it's killer deal. I think it was $99. Um, and it has kind of that rustic look again. I loved bringing in a little pop of wood because we have so much neutral. You can see this is just mainly texture and neutrals, which I do love. But then if we bring a little warmth of the wood at the end of the bed, it kind of helps this space feel grounded and have a little contrast. And then of course I love the brass accents of the lighting and the lamps um, just those little subtle touches and a little bit of that gold in the velvet ribbon uh, just definitely kind of like remembering to carry through those little accents in different places so that it feels balanced in your space but definitely it's a big change from how this room normally looks and our son actually <laughs> makes it look awesome he likes it kind of has that hotel fancy hotel vibe so uh, he'll and of course he has his own touches that he adds in here there's often a lot of tractors memorabilia and Legos and all the things that he does normally have in here. We do allow our kids to have their own stamp on their room, but at the holiday time when we have company coming, we do really use this as a guest room a lot of time because we have the bunk room where all the kids can go. They each have a bunk in there. So anyway, there's that. Let me know what you guys think. And if you like adding um, holiday decor in bedrooms, or if that's something you normally skip, tell me in comments, what is your, your typical there if you decorate the bedrooms or not. Thank you for watching check me out over on instagram at design loves detail because tons of amazing sales you can find in stories there we also have daily deals that we're always talking about over in community so you can stay up to date there as well in case you don't have instagram and on my website designlovesdetail.com we'd love to have you follow along by hitting the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss any videos links are in the description as well so you can shop those for the space we'll see you next time